they need a better start to this match and for Orlando it's to try and get the fullbacks forward, utilise the wide area is something that they do really well, especially in a left-back roll through El Munir. Toronto FC underway here on Friday match night on MLS on TSN against an Orlando. Left-back tonight, don't expect him to get forward as much as he would at right-back. For the game that feels they probably shouldn't have played him last week against Atlanta, and now he's on the sidelines. Yeah, that's the chances you take. Obviously, he can't always play at 100 to help the lad. He's had some challenging times, but what he has shown is an ability to get forward and put in some lovely balls. It's nice to see you get seeing him as a left back. Challenge last week was he felt Telford was unsure about when to move forward, when to sit back. Something that you you expect from an inexperienced player. So hopefully you can see. That. So Johnson finding himself at right back at the moment for Orlando City. This is Auro, and that's out of play for a corner on the far side. Off my Defensive header and save what looked like was going to be an opening goal to the away side. Toronto FC lost five games the whole of last season. They've already lost six now this year. Made their World Cup squad. His brother did, Salif Sané, who plays for Hanover. He'll be going to the World Cup. We'll be seeing him on TSN this summer with Senegal. But Lamine Sané, living in the shadow of his brother there. <laughs> what, I what will ask, say? I will I know ask what you about say. that. Higita. Munir trying to get away from Jordan Hammond. Oh. Munir pushing this one forward. Justin Merrim does well. I thought he should have just swept it across with his left foot. Decided to chop back again. Wasn't the right idea. This one played back into the middle by Al Munir and very early in the season. Arrow down the right side. Al Munir slaps Sasha Kleston. He's led the league in assists the last two years, Clashton. Merrim. Jason Kreis wants his side to be better defensively. Feels that's a little bit of a weakness for them right now. To me, like it was ridiculous. Not seen a lot of that so far, just sitting in that area. What a great character to have in a dressing room, though. His will to win, his quality, everything about him. Brilliant professional. And a great spell at Toronto FC. Terrific in Portland. It's great everywhere he goes. <laughs> Not know, but it is. <laughs> yeah, very important. Towards Clashton. Sad to see, but hopefully he's on the men now. Get well soon, Joe. Big Huddersfield tap. Any kind of intensity and pace to moves. Normally we see TFC, especially last season when they have their ability. TFC in the second half, with the schedule they've got, the distance they are off the playoff places. Keep flying Ryan in, obviously when we can get the ball early to Ryan, then he's having a, a good time with uh, opportunities to run at the, you know, Will on this side. So, uh, can decide at the start of the second 45 minutes, it's Toronto FC, 12 points behind Orlando City. Chris Mavinga. Returning from injury off the bench last week in the defeat at New England. Had a hamstring problem the last few weeks. Hasn't started an MLS game before. Higite, the 24-year-old Colombian, out to this left side for El Munir. Merrim flip goes backwards for Higita. Out to the left for El Munir. for the 24-year-olds from Mississauga, Ryan Telfer. Josue Coleman will be coming in for Orlando. Chapman getting caught here, down the left side. In the end, it goes off. Orlando City, intelligent players, very good at breaking up play. Starting attacks. Stefan. El Munir. And Merrim. Well, that's not his job. He should get on with his job. The decision's been made. He shouldn't be having any conversations with a head coach or anyone else while the game's going on. Nikuranga. 
The man on this near side with the flag. Played forward by Almunia down the left. He'll carry it all the way towards the edge of the box. And Mavinga quickly across. Almunia plays this one into the middle. He Mueller goes down inside the box. Comes back out. Higuita. It's 1-1. One, one. Left channel. Pass two or three TFC players. Pass Zavaleta. Mavinga comes across. But it's Munir's tenacity to win the ball back. Shouts for a penalty on Mueller. Not the right decision as it drops. I thought Kleshin was going to come on to it. Higita wants this more than anyone else. Kleshin senses that, steps out of the way, and Higita just smashes it. But Orlando City find the equaliser through a magnificent strike from Higita. And again, just a little bit tepid from TFC. And it back here for Toronto. And he was trying to find Ricketts, but it got cut out. El Munir brings it forward over halfway. Then find the ball to Vasquez. Polarea started once. He pulled it back to 1 1 with his second goal of the season after Chapman had made it 1-0 for TFC in the 63rd, Higuita in the 73rd, and then Telford in the 86th minute. Right now is the match winner for TFC. Sloppy from...